Several Queens residents say they are turning their anger into action. They've managed to get the liquor license temporarily suspended from a bar in their neighborhood that they call problematic and dangerous. Last week, two people were shot there, including the bar's owner. CBS 2's John Diaz has more. It may be the last call for Cloud Tequila Grill. Saturday, workers closed the Auburndale Queens Bar with no sign of it reopening anytime soon. And these neighbors had something to do with it. Shut it down. For months, they've been calling on the state liquor authority to suspend the bar's liquor license. On Thursday, it did, but only temporarily. Enough is enough. This establishment does not belong in this neighborhood. Assemblyman Edward Bronstein and others now want the authority to go even further, asking to revoke the bar's license permanently. We're well past time for conversations and taking small steps. The bar has 16 open violations. Charges include excessive noise and one for availing their license. It's been operating under Silk Hookah Lounge, LLC. This owner, this bar has been unfriendly and unneighborly in the worst of ways. And what have we had? We've had excess trash on this block. We've had people pee. The most recent incident, though, a double shooting outside the bar last weekend has this community on edge the most. We're scared for our children. You're scared for anybody at night. The bar's owner, Sal Khan, says he got caught in the crossfire and suffered a graze wound to the head. While on the mend, he told me over the phone he now wants to turn his business into something new, promising it will be safe. Most likely it's going to be a restaurant without liquor license, without liquor. Maybe like a uh, burger type of cherry or fast food. But these neighbors and local leaders don't trust the owner and want him gone completely. His promises, it, they, they don't work anymore. And police say they're still investigating the shooting, but they did arrest a 19-year-old for it and charged him with criminal trespassing. They believe he committed the crime since he was kicked out of the bar because a private party was going on, and they did recover a gun from the scene. From Auburndale, Queens, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.